So here we are, this is Gridserve's top of the line charger. So why is it giving me less than the old 50 kilowatts that used to be here? Hello, hi I'm Dave, welcome to Dave Takes It On. You find me today, we're on the M6, we're at Southwaite Services, we're southbound. It's just stopped raining long enough, I think, to do a bit of filming. And we're here to have a look at the brand new chargers. Now these were advertised on the GridServe website as 360 kilowatt chargers. They are the latest ones. The important bit with these, they are dual bay. And they claim that these are faster than their 350 kilowatt single bay chargers. The reason they claim they're faster is inside here is a computer and it will intelligently select the correct power for each car plugged in. So if, for example, we have a Taycan, push Taycan there, which can take two or 300 kilowatts, and we have a Nissan Leaf here, which can only take 100 or 50, then it will intelligently split the power so that each gets what it can cope with. So these are supposed to be an incredible amount faster than the old 350s, which were always set. Unfortunately, today, what we're finding is we're plugged in. We're at 38% state of charge. We should be getting a good rate. My car is capable of 140 kilowatts. We're getting 46 kilowatts. Now, when we go back uh, to, if any of you viewers remember, we did a video about grid serve at Chester East on the M56 and we were talking to the engineers who were installing there and they said that inside all the chargers, the ABB chargers, they have modules and each of those modules is 60 kilowatts. So when they've packed these out, all the modules packed out, these will be capable of 360 kilowatts. The others are classed as 350 kilowatts. They also can have six modules where the extra 10 goes or loses, I don't know. But this is how, uh, how GridServe work inside. So what it looks like here is for some reason, this one only has one of the modules either installed or switched on. So there's a problem here. And the most likely answer is there's a lack of power for the site. Because here we have three of these grids of supposedly 360s dual bays. So we've got six bays here uh, and they're supposed to be ultra fast. They're not, they're running slower. Right, so the confusion here is very simple. When GridServe launched these, they announced them on their website as 360 kilowatt intelligent chargers that were going to speed up the charging process. When we get here and plug in, we find they're running at 47 kilowatts. So there's a bit of a, where's the missing 300 odd kilowatts gone? But when we check on the app uh, to see what this location is capable of, these are classed as, hello, these are classed as 60 kilowatts. So they are recognizing that this is not going to be running at full speed. So when you come here, they are classed as 60 kilowatt chargers. And that in getting a 46, 47, 50 kilowatt charge is actually quite normal on that sort of speed of charger. But the big question is, why isn't this either fully kitted out with all the modules and running at 360 kilowatts? And the most likely reason for that is going to be a power restriction on the entire site. Uh, there are three 360 kilowatt capable chargers here. Uh, so that's quite a draw. And over there are four bays. There's two 50 kilowatt dual bay shared chargers. So the site itself seems to be, it's possible there's a shortage of power. Right, well obviously with a Tesla I've got a Tesla app and that allows me to keep, uh, keep an eye on what's going on. And one of the interesting things I've found, uh, which I've not seen before, because this is not built into the Tesla system, I didn't pre, uh, precondition the battery. Uh, we just tend to drive and stop, so everywhere we go it's whatever temperature it is. But when this one plugged in, the first thing it started doing, the heaters came on on the battery while it was actually charging. Um, we've got some interesting things here. So the first one is we're using 100% net zero energy. So grid serve is very, very keen on everything being renewable, green or green zero energy, whatever they, uh, the terminology is. 
The second thing is the charging speed. Uh, as this one has been charging up, the speed has been going up very slightly, and that's probably down to the preheaters. Gridserve's colour scheme here is a beautiful teal. I'm covering it over here so you can't really see it, but it's teal. And yet when we move over here, we change a colour scheme. And this is all to do with accessibility. Uh, I get like, asked all the time about accessibility because people have different accessibility capabilities. This is an ultra-wide bay. It's not marked as anything special, but it is an ultra-wide bay and it is a totally different colour. We've got the like, bright green here. And for anyone who does have limited access, for example, if anyone was a wheelchair user, you, there's plenty of room to get out here. And look at this, look how low down this all is to the ground. This is absolutely designed with accessibility in mind. There is nothing here, there are no curbs, no ramps, there's no plinth. There's nothing here to restrict access to pretty much anyone here. So this is a good move for GridServe. Thank you GridServe, wish more people could follow suit. So the bays here, they're not exactly terribly generous. That one is, that's brilliant. Uh, but this one, not terribly generous. And if someone doesn't park nice and neat, uh, it's sometimes difficult to get into the bays in a nice square line. That's my excuse for not having parked parallel to the white line. Believe it or not, that's up to you. Uh, but the bay itself is nicely laid out. Uh, there's services, we've got the petrol station over there. It's a BP, obviously. Oh, look at the price. I know my local petrol station is £1.49 a litre and over there we've got £1.70.9 per litre. So there's a massive markup here, 21, 21 pence. Uh, diesel's £1.79.9 and again locally I think it's about one fifty three. So anyone filling up here, oh look, there's cars filling up here. Why is anyone filling up there at £1.70 something when they could go to their local supermarket, there's probably one nearby, and, and get 30 pence saving on that? And they think we're mad paying these prices. Well, Southwaite service is on the M6 and we're in the slow bit of the EV charging. Uh, Gridserve have a lovely habit of labelling the power of their chargers. So here we have lovely teal blue, which is Gridserve's colour here. And these are classed as low, low power. And low power for Gridserve is the Type 2 charger. Now, these are really useful here because in the background you've got a travel lodge. Excuse this post, it wasn't me. It was like that when I got here. Uh, but these are great for the hotel. If you're here overnight, don't waste your time on the fast chargers. Plug in here, it's cheaper. These are 49 pence per kilowatt hour, whereas the high and the, fa and the, uh, the rapid chargers are 79 pence. So this is great, and it's one other advantage. Normally with fast chargers, you need your own cable, which these you do. You don't get a cable with these, they're not tethered. But most of the Type 2s that you come across, you have to operate from an app. They have no method of payment. Grid service different, breaks the mould. They actually give you a method of using these without the app. And I think the main reason for that is GridServe don't have an app. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? You've got a lovely website uh, and everything works fine. You can find out everything you need, but they don't have an app as yet. I was in GridServe, uh, when was it? Just before Christmas, October, November time, um, and talking to development development manager there, and they said two things could be on the way, uh, and one of those included an app. The other one, by the way, is an auto pay, auto charge type system. Okay, for regular viewers, you'll know one of my bugbears is the weight and flexibility of the cables that attach to the plug. And this one, brand new, top of the range model, is no different. That is a really thick cable. These are normally water-cooled. When these are running flat out, the power going through these is really quite ferocious. They generate a lot of heat, and so they have water cooling. 
but that must apply to everyone. And I notice a huge difference in the thickness and the weight and the flexibility of cables between different chargers. Osprey is particularly bad. They're the bright orange ones you see with the big springs overhead. And those springs are actually just a counterbalance for a very heavy cable. These cables also have a uh, support system. And without that, these are really heavy cables. Just this little bit is really heavy. It's also not very flexible at all. This is really quite a struggle to bend it round. And the plug itself, absolutely massive. And that's quite bulky. Now, when you go to plug in the car, you can find that, you can see it here, it won't sit square the cable is putting a strain on this. It's one of my worries that when this is plugged into the car, it's putting a strain on the socket in the car. So for someone who's, let's say, not quite as well built as me, they might find this a bit of a struggle. And as I say, I do worry about whether it's putting a strain on the car. So come on, you charger manufacturers. Can you do nothing about these cables? Well, thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and click the notification bell so we can notify you next time we launch a video. And a massive thank you to all our Patreon supporters. It is your support that enables us to go out and make these videos for you. So thank you very much for your contribution. I'm Dave.